Stop. Come over here, bro. Right? So what the brother was saying pretty much basically is that the woman, you know, she got to be correct in the household, right? And you already understand that, right? But I'm going to show you in the Bible something real tricky real quick. Now, let me get Esther 1 and 16 in the NLT. Esther 1 and 16 in the NLT. NLT. Right? Now how a lot of women are influenced by what? Social media. By celebrities, by the Cardi B's, the Megan's, right? And they come into the house and they pollute the household. But what they see on TV, right? They got this thing now where the woman doing this now, right? Pointing at the ring finger. For a brother to get a, 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 some, some um, damn rice and peas, he got to put a ring on it. Right. Right? For a brother to get a good home, for to, be, to come home to, to, um, to have some peace and, and, and serenity, he got to put a ring on it. And like the brother was saying, man, you know, a lot of modern women, they are, they are the ones who initiate divorces more than men initiate divorce. Because all the men wanted some peace, and he just wanted to come home and have a good meal and have some, you know, you just chill for a second. But what the woman can't do, that when he come home, he got to deal with your issues as well. When you understand that the, the so-called black and Latino man, we already have it hard already in this world. Right? You got it? Esther 1 and um, 16. Yeah, 16. In the NLT. Listen to this. This is Esther 1 and 16 in the NLT. No! Memukin answered the king and his nobles. Uh -huh. Queen Vashti has wronged not only, not only the king, but also every noble and citizen. Right. So this guy named um, Xerxes, this, this um, Persian prince, right? His wife was being rebellious. He told her to come to summon her unto him, and she was like, "I ain't coming." You feel me? So now, uh, amongst his his men, he felt disrespected. So the other brothers was like, "Yo, your wife, she out of order, man. She you call her to come, and she don't want to come." Like you says just now, like yo, they said you have to ask the boss. Right. You know what I'm saying? But when you do certain things, you're, you're, you're a replica of your husband. The way you carry yourself shows you what kind of man he is. Right. Now, if you are the order, you out here doing your thing, it shows me that that, that, that man is weak. That's you know right. what I'm saying? And according to the Bible, we live this word, we have our wives in order, in a certain way where when she's out there by herself or she doing certain things, she represents me. That's Don't embarrass right. me. Exactly. You understand that? So give me that verse again. God, this is Esther 1 and 16 in the See that? Let's get it. Let's get it. This is Esther, this is Esther one. Is it Esther one and verse sixteen? The NLT. Yeah. But who can answer the king and his nobles? Uh -huh. Queen Vashti has wronged not only the king uh -huh. but also every noble and citizen throughout your throughout your empire. <laughs> Women everywhere uh -huh. will begin to despise their husbands. So the brothers, the, the gods are telling the king, yo, women all over the, the empire gonna begin to re rebellious against their husbands because they look at the, the queen and say, well, the queen will respect the king. Why should I respect my husband? That's right. And that's when you watch um, Cardi B's and the Megs and these different um, Glorillas in them, right? They teach a young woman to what? I don't cook, I don't clean. Yeah. You got to put a ring on it, yeah. right? If you want to do this, I could do that too. We could be 50-50. Right. And I'm seeing a lot, of, a lot of social media posts now where women are, they show women who are independent and struggling. That's right. I saw a woman trying to get a, um, a damn boat off, off the tire and she couldn't even twist it because it was too hard. So, and, and other things too. I saw other posts where this guy, he went to the MMA, he's a, he's, he got a, a transgender, and he's in the MMA, and he kneed this black girl in the face, knocked her out, cracked her skull, and then at the end when the guy, you know, they, they put the microphone to him, he was like, yeah, you like that? But he identified as a woman. So in this world now, nature already shows you that if you want to be 50-50, you don't get what's coming to you, right? If you just play your role, let me play my role, we would have had that issue, right? And then he said on the microphone, he was like, yeah, I'm coming for all you women. And he got cornrows like a girl, he got the, 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 the hormone gender thing, he got all that going on. But his voice was super deep. And he said on the microphone, y'all coming for all the women in this sport, I'm kicking y'all butts. So it's either y'all have to quit MMA, or 
law, they have to fire me. And if you fire him, that's that you can't I mean identify as a woman. Now I'm gonna sue you for being you know what I'm saying? So it's like this is so you have to protect your children to all to all extent. You understand that? So keep going. Uh, women everywhere will begin to despise their husbands uh -huh. when they learn that Queen Vashti has refused to appear before the king. So look at it on a modern day perspective. Right? When these sisters, these little young girls, look at Glorilla, Cardi B, Megan, even the girl from um, Chloe Bailey, the one, the mermaid girl, the girl from the Little Mermaid, her sister, Haley. right? Haley, you see her first role was what? Little Mermaid. No, the, the, her sister, the other one. No, um, Chloe is the older one. Yeah. Yeah, the older one. She have a a, a show on a, on Swans. Her first role was what? Yeah, I don't want to get too vulgar, but she was definitely she was they all they, she was getting, back you know, shots. yeah, she was getting back shots right from this right. guy. Yeah. And her first role is that of a sexual, you know. Look, so now her career is all messed up because what? Now every time she get booked for a, a movie, exactly. that's what they want her for. Right. While, while her daughter, while her sister's over there on the Little Mermaid, she running around with DDG, you know what I'm saying? She out here doing her thing. She got uh, Beyonce under her belt, you know what I mean? Right. Our rock major is pushing her. But the sister now is like, you know, and now a lot of, well, a lot of young girls look up to Chloe Bitt to the sister, like, okay, Little Mermaid. Okay, let me see what her sister do. All of a sudden, get back shots, and they might gravitate to something, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, you got a precept, bring it up. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, and verse 16, the TPT. Bring it up. A gracious, generous woman will be honored with a splendid reputation. So that you gotta have a splendid reputation. So when you come around the neighborhood, people gonna be like, y'all know that sister right there. Powerful woman, man. She cook, she clean, she wash, she nurtures her children, right? Even the, the Proverbs 31, it says that the woman go out there and she, and she, and she till the ground. She, she nick when it's quick time. Your kids are not out here freezing their behinds off. Like You're right. not out here living a hot girl summer, but your kid don't got a goddamn winter jacket. Right. Right? right? right. It looks bad on you as a woman. Exactly. Right? You have failed as a mama. Like I'm bad. But the woman who hates the truth, uh -huh. lives with disgrace, and is surrounded by men who are cutthroat, only greedy for money. See that? And that's why men these days are now looking for the younger, hotter girl. Because what? We knew that that's something, a lot of the women, it's a game now. It's not even about, which would you call it, um, chivalry is dead, yeah. right? But guys don't hold the door for you no more, right? We don't pull the chair out anymore, right? Because women today are not modern, they're not traditional women. The majority, not all of them, right? They're not modern day women. And, uh, and social media portrays that image for you to not be modern anymore. Right? That's why our parents are normally in, in long relationships. Like, right? My mother been together with her husband for like 30, 40 years, 50 years, right? right? But now it's like, yo, listen, if you go to the army for two years, nigga, she gonna chill you with somebody else. Her brother get locked up for 30 days in jail, she already don't sleep with your homeboy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, and, but the woman want the same traditional values, but don't give off the, the traditional. Back up. You know, I don't wanna yeah, get right. They don't mean. give off that, that, that spirit, right? right? You got more? That's a, yeah, hold on real quick, go ahead, let me read that. Uh, verse 18, uh -huh. uh, before this day is out, uh -huh. the wives of all the king's nobles uh -huh. throughout Persia and Media uh -huh. will hear what the, what the queen did mm -hmm. and will start treating their husbands the same right, way. Right. Everybody heard Cardi B said she'll cook but she don't clean, right? But she still got that ring. That's but then, but then you saw on social media when her little daughter came around, she said, hold on. Yeah, because why she's not, she right, she's all smarter than that, right? Yeah. Also, they expose her for doing that. Yeah, he said, don't don't believe what she says in her music. Exactly. She actually does that. Because when he go live and he come out to his kitchen, who's yeah. in the kitchen ripping that damn eggs up? Cardi B with her goddamn silicones in her butt. Right there, cooking and cleaning. But she's telling young little kids to not do that, right? Destroy the generation, right? So you have to understand how to eat the meat, spit the bones out. Yeah, you can do your little Cardi B dance. Oh, the song is cool. But understand that these people don't live the lives that they portray. You understand that? You got something, King? Yeah. Bring it up. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs 11 and 22. Uh -huh. a, in the NLT. Yeah. A beautiful woman who lacks, discre who lacks discretion. Who lacks what? Who lacks discretion. She lacks discretion. Right? You have to be discreet. Right? Right? Humble, reserved, not in every guy's face, not in everybody's inbox, not in everybody goddamn social media platform. You gotta be reserved and discreet, right? A keeper of home. So when people see you, they don't even know you. Yeah. But knowing that you control all this, I control all this right here. But you don't have to know me, right? So when the man, when the, when the, when the, the, the husband brings um, friends to the house, the house is in order, right? Yeah, she's done only because a woman has to make the house a home. The men, we love by our money, time and resources. Women love differently. They love by thereby keeping their chastity, right? Not being a, a whore. 
So men and women love totally different. We don't love the same. But women try to hold men to the standards of how to love me. How I want you to love me. No, I'm gonna love you how I'm designed to love you. Right. By my pockets, my wallet, my time, and my resources. You love me by not sleeping around or cheating on me by anybody else. When I come home, make the house a home, right? Make sure, cause guys, when, when you watch um, um, these different celebrity, when they buy these little mansions, right, with their little wives, what they do? They be in the, in the house with the uh, real estate agent, and the wife say, "Baby, you like this, baby? Baby, you like that?" The woman's like, "Well, I like the pool." She get to choose what she like and what she don't like. He's just there because I'm an NFL player. I got eighty million dollars. I'm just here to buy the house. If she's not happy, we're not buying this house. They get to walk around. Honey, you like the pool? I don't like the pool. It's too small. What about the bathroom? The bathroom is the, is the bathroom big enough? She don't like the bathroom, and she get to pay because the woman made the house her home. She worry about the the, the, the the tiles, the color, the carpets, the tissue, the, the napkins. She worry about the, the, the curtains, the rods. I don't care about none of that. For our house, it was the kitchen. Yeah, it was the kitchen. <laughs> That's the most important part. Because you know what a man just give me a damn Max and a flat screen TV and an Xbox and I'm straight. A PS5 and you know, and what else? Some little, little minor things, but I'm, I'm straight. But the woman got to make the house a home, you know what I'm saying? Because she worried about all the little minor details that I'm not supposed to worry about. I have to come home now and then hear your mouth when I bought this damn 40 million dollar mansion. That's not fair. And then what he does, he go get somebody that's younger. Right, because women like to live the fast life throughout their twenties and thirties, and they settle down at thirty-five. At that point, I'm a high-level man. I need to get somebody that's younger than you. Right? Jay Z can find another Beyonce, another woman younger than Beyonce. But Beyonce can't find another Jay Z, can she? Yeah, she can't. <laughs> it's only one Jay Z. But it's a hundred other different beautiful women out there that he could choose from. Right? Go ahead. A, a beautiful woman who lacks discretion uh -huh. is like a gold ring in a pig's snout. In a pig's snout, right? A pig got that jewel in it, but you don't want to get the coat because it's, it's unclean. It's a pig, right? I got you. Go ahead, bring it up. This is Proverbs 7 and verse 10 in the CEB. Uh -huh. yeah. She was dressed fancy like a woman of the street uh -huh. with only one thing in mind. What she got in mind? Only one thing in mind. When you look at these young girls today, they got one thing in mind. How to get that bag. How can I get a Birkin bag or, 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 or I'm going to use a tote bag out of this brother? I'm sorry, right? How can I get something out of this man right here without giving him anything? That's why they got the song right now. They got called, um, this, uh, this nigga's a munch. Because women living their life trying to find, how can I get the most out of you without me giving the most to you? You know what I'm saying? And that's not fair because the women don't understand, remove all of these material things. Hundred, like 50 years ago when our, when our mamas was out there, when the father was going up to war and the mama was in the house cooking the clean, she had to keep herself reserved for when that man come from war. You understand me? And she had to not your father, our, a lot of our parents. But we have lost that, you know what I'm saying? We have our, our, our children are like, you know, we're not gonna do that anymore. Yeah, my mama was a traditional woman, I'm traditional, but you're not. You got you 25, but like, with like 40 bodies. How are you traditional? Right? Go ahead. Come. She was one of those women who were who are loud and restless and never stay at home, mm -hmm. who walk street after street. To do what? Walk street, street after street, after street uh -huh. waiting yeah. to trap a man. Waiting to trap a man. How to get that man, right? Mm -hmm. Right. A typical brother can come to a woman and remember, how you doing, beautiful? Nice to meet you. You mind if I take you out? Nah. You gotta pull up in a goddamn Bugatti to even get your attention. Right? We want to get my sister a fly and she think I want her number. I'm trying to get you to the marriage. I'm trying to get you in the kingdom. What happened? I don't want to see, you know what I'm saying, but, they, but it's already locked into their mind where it's like, you know, because they, they over-sexualize themselves. Hey, if, if you put that on the market, I'm going to buy what's on the market. <laughs> That's what you put on social media, what do you think I'm coming for? Right? Go ahead, I mean, I mean, you got more? Yeah, it's more. Finish that on. Uh, uh, that. Verse 25 in the GNT. Do not, let a, do not let such a woman win your heart. Uh -huh. Don't go wandering after her. Uh -huh. She has been the ruin of many men uh -huh. and caused the death of too many to count. If you go to her house, uh -huh. you are on the way to the world of the dead. And women like that, they um, deter a lot of men from the truth, right? That's why you got your Andrew Tates, right? You got your Fresh and Fit podcast. You got your Kevin Samuels. Because now they're preaching to brothers like, yo, listen, yeah. gear up, brothers, because women out here, they devious. And yeah, look what happened when he passed. How many women was clapping? Oh, yeah, he was champing his death. Exactly. Right, but guess what? The most I raise up other brothers who preach that same truth, right? right? But they, they, well. they, the problem was they made it seem like he was only going after women. He was saying for both. Yeah. He was teaching men, but also trying right. to. Right, he teach men how to get your money up, exactly. get in the gym, right? Be that high level man that they want. Exactly. Give women no choice to choose you. Right. Right, because right now we play with what? Pornography, right? On um, video games, and men are not out here reproducing on the how they used to reproduce. 
hundred, like what, 20, 20 years ago. That's why, so that's why you got 80s babies, 90s babies, you got Gen Z, right? Because that's what they teach men to how to get your things together, but also tell women, listen, we got standards too. I don't want a woman that's 800 pounds. I like him tall, short, blonde, you know, I'm not blonde, but you know what I'm saying? I, I, I have, you know, my own personal, you know, but women laugh at our um, likes. But the, but the woman, has, she has her arm like I have to be able to uphold what she wants. She want a guy that's 6'2", right? Muscular, 100K a year, car, how, she want all the, like, damn, what you got? I got three kids and I got no, oh, well, you, 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 you can't get all that. Right? It's a harsh truth, but it is what it is. Right? So when men have standards, we get clowned for it. But when, we have, but when women have standards, we have to show them the reality of how, how life is. It's called misogynistic. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't hate women. I say this. You know that, when it comes to stuff like that, mm -hmm. with women who are like that, you end up attracting yourself. Yeah. So how can you build yourself if you're attracting the same thing that you are? That you are. And when you get that dope boy, you get that celebrity, that, that, that high level man, exactly. guess what? How are you going to keep that high level man that's from going right. to other women? If you're not high level yourself. Right. So that's what you ask women today, like, what do you got to bring to the table? Chicks say, I am the table. Right. Well, there's many tables out here, right? You got a passing table, you got a glass table. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, there's different tables out here. No, because when they say it like that, okay, if you are the table, how many people were served off that table? Exactly. Mm. You see that? I need to write that down. You see that? <laughs> I need to write that one down. You're giving me a good, a good talking point. That was good. But that's, but that's true, though. You know what I'm saying? And the black women today, they don't, I'm, so not all of them. But the majority of them get on that type of time, right? Because they had nothing to bring to the table, right? See, I learned from my great grandparents. Yeah, not, yes, I learned from my great grandparents. Mm -hmm. I learned from my father. I was learned from a very young age. You know, mm -hmm. I learned at seven years old how to cook, whatever the case may be. Yeah. That's why when it comes to the foundation, yeah. I am the foundation of my household. You are the foundation exactly. of your household. Age 16, that's when I met my husband. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing we did? We didn't go on a date. You right. know what I did? What you did? Cooked him a meal. Cook. Amen. The way to a man's heart is a stomach, man. That's why, they got the book of, that's why they got the book of Ruth in the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Ruth, you know what I'm saying? Ruth took care of my boy. Broke up the Davidic the, 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 the Messiah through Ruth. But let me finish this one verse out there. Y'all got you. I know the Leviticus are calling all that. Give me Esther 1 again, and let's come. This is Esther 1 and 17. Uh -huh. Women everywhere will begin to despise their husbands uh -huh. when they learn that, that Queen Vashti has refused to appear before the king. Hold on, real quick. Yo, y'all get ready for slavery. Oh, yeah. huh. Before this day is out, uh -huh. the wives of all the king's nobles throughout uh -huh. Persia and Midian uh -huh. will hear what the queen did uh -huh. and will start treating their husbands the same way. Uh -huh. There will be no end to their contempt and anger. Uh -huh. So if I so slack it, so if it please the king, uh -huh. we suggest that you issue a written decree. So his men are telling the king, if, yo, if you suggest, we, should, we, we declare that you write a decree, go ahead. A law of the Persians and Medes uh -huh. that cannot be revoked, it should order that Queen Vashti be forever banished. You see, wait, you what? That, that, the, that Queen Vashti be forever Ever banished yes. from the presence of King Xerxes. So his men are championing the, to, for his, the king to write a decree to banish your, your, your wife for me becoming around. Now I gotta find somebody because, well, you don't listen. I'm a whole king out here, you trying to disobey me. And when women supposed to look at our men, the black and latino, they look at any men as kings on the earth, as That's gods on the earth, and treat us as such, right? Because women always wanna say, I'm a queen, I'm a 10, I'm this, I'm a 20, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no number on me, I'm this and I'm that, right? So, well, I feel the same way, right? I feel this, I don't have to have a million dollars in the bank, I feel like a king, treat me as such. That's what I identify as, as a god on earth. Right. That's right. What you gonna do? But you're not gonna respect that pronoun, are you? Right? Mm. Let me finish this song. Go ahead. Cut. It says, and that the king should choose another queen. He should do what? He should choose another, another king. Another no, queen. No, stay with the same wicked ass woman. The king should oh, choose another, another queen, queen. more worthy than she. Well, because you gotta be worthy, right? And you feel like you're worthy to have children with your husband. You're worthy because you feel like I'm worthy. Choose me. I'm a potential, I'm a great wife, right? Go ahead. When this decree is published uh -huh. throughout the king's vast empire, uh -huh. husbands everywhere, Where? husbands everywhere, uh -huh. whatever their rank, uh -huh. will receive. Oh, it says what? Whatever, whatever their, their rank. Whatever their rank. 
I could be a low level brother, right. I could be a high level man, right. I could be a mid level brother, it doesn't matter. You understand that? Treat me the way I should be treated so in turn we can have a happy house, right? Go ahead. It's more, it's, it's more than uh, it says, uh, will receive proper respect uh -huh. from their wives. Go ahead. The king and his nobles throughout this uh -huh. made good sense. Uh -huh. So he followed Mamukin's counsel. And serenity, right, Dad? He uh, sent that. He sent letters to all parts of the empire, uh -huh. to each province in its own script and language, uh -huh. pro proclaiming so that. The, so the king wrote a decree to everybody that's seen conquering, right, Dad? Proclaiming that every man should be the ruler. To be what? To be the yeah, ruler. To be what? To be the ruler. In the 50 50 here, I'm the ruler of the household. You make it at home, nice and pretty, deck it out, cook it clean, do it in but, but this is my house. I'm the ruler of this house. Right? He's the enforcer. To be the ruler of his own home uh -huh. and should say whatever he do what? whatever just what? should say whatever he heck? pleases. I just say whatever the hell I, I goddamn please in my house. Precept. That's right. If my woman she me mad because I'm in the house. She said, she said, nigga, you never wear clothes. I'm out there, drawers out of this is my house. <laughs> right? She said, you never wear clothes. I, I don't have to. It's my house. I make all the decisions, right? But when I come home, she watch the TV, give me that remote control. This is, I'm here now. That's right. Right? Put the T, put the PS5 on. I'm on, I'm on my God of War shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my Call of Duty. My husband came home, watching the Lakers game. <laughs> right. He watched the Lakers game, right? He wanna watch the football, let the man do his thing, man. Right? All you want is some peace and some serenity. That's right. So, I just wanted to show you that social media and having your children watch these other women that's on TV champion bad behavior is going to warrant your daughters and your little young ones to have a horrible relationship throughout life. She's going to get a boyfriend and they're going to be, Mommy, we broke up. You know, separate her already. We 18. We broke up. It's okay, baby. Get you another boyfriend. She got another boyfriend. Now she's 22. We broke up. And it's like, it's, it's okay. So by the time she get a husband, it's like, your mama is keep telling you to go from man to man. It's okay. You should be like, no, mama. Close your goddamn legs. She should how to be a woman and choose the best candidate, right? Because women just want to wait till the end of the finish line and sleep with the winner. Yeah, or let, in the Bible, the father was the one that would give the um the daughter a husband, or give the, the his daughter to a son. I mean, a wife to a son. Right. For the father, because woman, she don't understand how you feel. She'll be like, yeah, baby, I went through the same thing as when I was younger. So you know what? F that guy, go to him. But the father will be like, yo, hold on now. Nah, we're not doing none of that. You know what I'm saying? So that's all that's today. But I appreciate your time, sister. Right? And your um, the beautiful children. I appreciate y'all listening, man. You know. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. He'll never let his daughter be right, yeah, yeah. No matter how evil that brother is, man, he gonna. That's what it said. Fathers keep daughters off a of stripper poles. That's right. 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 You gotta protect your daughter from your the old mama, right, dad? Sirach twenty six and verse three. Yeah. A good wife is a good portion, uh -huh. which shall be given in the portion of them that fear Yahweh, uh -huh. whether a man be rich or poor. Right, whether you be rich or poor, man, it doesn't matter your your um your um, financial status, man. The Bible says that we are the sons of the living God. We are the men of fine gold, man, comparable to fine gold, right? He ne he, he never declared that by our financial um 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 um, um wealth, right? Go ahead. Uh, it says, whether a man be rich or poor, if he have a good heart toward the, toward the Lord, he shall at all times rejoice with a cheerful countenance. You see that? Let me get this brother. He was holding the thing for a hot minute. Go ahead, bring it up. This is the book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it up. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, uh -huh. that aged men be sober, uh -huh. grave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, and patience. Uh -huh. Verse 3. That aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior. As they got to be in behavior, man. Right. These aged women, they have to be in behavior. Right, you have to treat them like two-year-olds, man. Tell your woman, yo, behave yourself. You act like a child in the goddamn Walmart. You want to argue with me in public, you act like a two-year-old. If that's how I got to talk to you, you need to control yourself. Act like an adult. Right, and like the brother said, man, you know what I'm saying? Men, we got to come, because we don't, we don't, we go off of, um, not our mo Yeah, no, he want to ignore me because he hate black people, that's why. Right. Yeah, I got your attention, didn't I? Yeah, I got your attention, right? You see that? That's what you gotta do, man. Yeah, that, that proves my point. Y'all talk to niggas like goddamn children. That's a, the woman that has a woman. You see that? Well, that's her fault. That's not my. But well, that's his fault. That's not my fault. Right. Right. You deceived me. I thought you was a, a dude. I've been having a lot of dreams. Telling me 
I'm coming. Right, so check this out. So, hold on. Let me get Joel 2 and 28. I should pour my spirit upon all flesh. Right, because the Bible talks about that he's going to pour his spirit upon all flesh and that his children, his sons and his daughters are going to dream dreams and prophesy. So you get in these visions and these dreams are, are, are not far fetched, they're biblical. Right, Joel 2? Should I believe yeah. in a dream or not? Oh. For a dream. I mean, that, that's my portion to you. Yeah, well, the most I got plants and spirit plants on um, voices when you're sleeping, right? Yeah. He, he gives you dreams. Now, some dreams are fruitful, some dreams are just, you know, made to just ignore it, right? Sometimes, some, some dreams you have that you won't even, won't even um, remember. I cannot ignore it because I is. Right, so if it's, one, if it's one of those dreams, then definitely check this out, right? Lamentation, I mean, jo um, Joel 2. Bring it out. Come, this is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass. Afterward, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. He's gonna pour the spirit upon flesh, right, God? And your sons, and who? And your sons, uh, your sons. That's what he said. He said your sons, right? Talking about the in context, he's talking about the Israelites. He says your sons, God. And your daughters, and your daughters as well, shall prophesy. Uh -huh. And your old men shall dream. And your what? And your old men, and the older men, the more mature brothers, God. Shall dream dreams. Gonna do what? Shall dream dreams. See that, King? So the most high God put a spirit on you to have a certain type of prophetic dream, right? You know, that's that's the spirit of the Lord. Right? That's the book of Joel 2. You want that verse? Who wrote that Bible? Well, this Bible this Bible is it's, it's a collection of books, right? Because the word Bible means what? What does the word Bible mean? The word Bible comes from the word biblios, which, which means a collection of books. Right. So, so it's a bunch of different scrolls put together into one, which makes it a, a biblios, a collection of books. Right, but this but this Bible is written by men, holy men of God, right? Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, right? Our forefathers, right? Let me get Job 88. Job 88. I'm gonna show you that real quick. Job 88. Yeah, no, the book of Job, chapter 8 and verse 8. In the NLT though. Right? We're not gonna be too long, right? What you got? Yeah, bring it out. Job 88. Job 8 and 8 in the NLT. Yeah. Just ask the previous generation. You heard that, my king? My brother? I'm listening. I got you. So you can write it down real quick. We're going to be patient with you. Right? This is what it says. Come a little closer, king. Read it again. I'm listening. Just ask the previous generation. It says just ask the previous generation, right? Oh. I, inquire of your forefathers, right? Ask the previous generation. Go ahead. Pay attention to the experience of our ancestors. Of our what? Ancestors. Right, so our ancestors is the one that wrote this book. They told you about their life and their times and what they have been through, the do's and the don'ts. What did they do wrong? What did they do the right of unrighteousness? And we look through these books and we understand, okay, let me not do what they did over here because what they did got them punished. Oh, let me do what they did because what they did over here got them blessed. So this is a compilation of books about our ancestors because when you look around the world, Every nation has a book about their forefathers, right? Right, that's right. Chinese man got his book. The Japanese man got his book. Everybody right. got their scrolls, right? Their book of their ancestors, right? So where's our ancestry, our ancestral book, my brother? Right, it's right here, King. You understand that? Our book is right here. Our ancestors are in this Bible, right? Yeah. Showing show you that there are life in their times, right? Go ahead. Verse 9. Uh -huh. For we were born, but yesterday. Let's go. She's shy. She don't want to talk. Native American on both mom and dad. Right. So what's going on, my sister? You know, you know, you know, Native Indian. Okay, well that's good. But you, well, according to the Bible, you've been Israelite, right? That's right. Right. That's right. You, you heard about the Israelites before? The Israelites. Well, that's what we teach right now. We teach the Bible that we are the real children of God, right? That you're not Native Indian, right? Because Native Indian means Native Savage. Did you know that? Like, 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 like oh, West Indian means Western Savage. Native savages, because understand that these words that, that, that they, they call you, that's not in the Bible. You believe in God? Does God call you Native Indian? So that's the whole point right there. You know what I'm saying? God does not call you Native American Indian. That's not that's not nowhere to be found in this book. So now the, the real question is for you to inquire about what does God call you? What does he identify me as? Which people do I belong to? I'm saying? You see, you, 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 you familiar with the Bible? You read the Bible a couple of times? Not too much? But what we're teaching that we are the real, we are the Jews in the Bible, right? God gave a certain people a name, right? An identity, right? Jacob wrestled with the angel in the wilderness and he changed his name from Jacob to Israel. You understand that? And then Jacob had a multitude of children. He had 12 sons and one daughter. You understand that? And out of those 12 sons, it became a great nation. 
You understand? Which is the Israelites today. Now my question to you, the people in the Bible, where are they today? My brother, you got that? You listen to what I'm saying? The people in the Bible, right? The ancient Jews of antiquity. Who and where are they today? Does anybody know? No. You know, brother? So, so, so did they all die off? No, they're still here. That's right. That's the question That's is, right. who are they? Who are the real Jews in the Bible? Who are the people of, 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 of antiquity? Is it the so-called Jewish man? Is he a real Jew? No. You don't ask the questions, do you? you just... Well, I don't know the answer. Okay, well, it says that we are the real Jews. My sister, you will be a hip. I guess according to the Bible, right? You're not native Indian, man. What's your nationality, brother? Yeah. You. But I see you pulling over. You're like, 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 let's go. Yeah, what's your nationality? Uh, Indian. Indian. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Right. It makes perfect sense, right? So just understand, sister, that you're a child of God, all right? Yeah. Come back here, get the flyer, get the literature of the flyer. And, you have and a YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel. And quiet, look at it. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, you know, don't, don't let nobody um, deter you from this truth, right? Right. right. You're welcome. My brother. So, where we left off at? Verse 9. Verse 9. Listen to this. Go ahead. For we nine, were nine, born nine. but yesterday uh -huh. and know nothing. You heard that? It says we was born yesterday but know nothing. So the point is, so you have to inquire this book, inquire of your forefathers and your ancestors, see where they went wrong, see what they did, how to please their God. And you have to come and rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord in your captivity. You know what I'm saying? Still so you, know, We still know nothing. Yeah, we still though. We know about 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 a little bit, right? Bible says that we look through the we look through the world through, um, through a looking glass. It ain't really, you know, clear, but we have some sort of you know we can see a little bit about what's going on based on the Bible, based on prophecy, based on history, based on archaeology. We know some things are real, right? But when the Yahweh Shai comes back, to who you call Jesus Christ, he gonna make things more clearer for us, right? Yes, right. You understand that? Right, go ahead. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 1 and verse 3 in the CEV. The people of Judah are slaves. The people of who? The people of Judah are slaves. You see that tribe that says Judah right here on the front? Yeah. It says the people of Judah are what? Are slaves. Are what? Are slaves. They are slaves, right? The so-called Jewish man was never a slave. He went through a couple years of Holocaust. Okay, whatever. But on the what, what we have been through, nobody could never equate to that. So you look at these signs right here, you see people in chains, shackles, right? Right here getting whipped, right? Chains. That's all biblical, my brother. You understand that? That's a curse upon our people. You understand that? You got that um, um, Deuteronomy? Bring it up. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Yeah. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So the Bible says, because we broke God's commandments as a nation of people, he said we're going to serve our enemies, right? We're going to be a servitude to another nation of people. Right, go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger uh -huh. and in thirst. In what? And in oh, thirst. It says in hunger and in thirst. So it says that the Israelites are going to go into captivity, and he, and he said you're going to go into captivity in hunger, right? So my question is, where do you get your food? Your food from your food sources. Where do you get it from? Who owns everything around here? White people. White people, right? Yeah. Yeah, we have a few little mom and pops here and there, but predominantly another nation occupy our food source. He says we're gonna serve them in hunger. Go ahead. And in want of all things. We're gonna get from the top. So lucky. And in hunger and in thirst. And in thirst. Right? Where you get your water from, King? Walmart. Who? Walmart. For Walmart. Who owns Walmart? White the so called white man. But who, but, who, but who owns the water? Who owns the Sani? What about Poland Spring? Other, other country. What about Aquafina? What about essential water? What about Fiji water? What the fuck is this we got? What about, what is this? What about Wesley Farms? Who own that? Canada. Different country. That's why I said we're going to serve our enemies in hunger and in thirst. Who owns Coca-Cola? Different country. Oh, no. What about Pepsi? Different country. Oh, no. You like Amish juice? <laughs> who all who, who all Tropicana? <laughs> Not your black guy, you own that. Right, but the, right, go ahead. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. Where you get your clothes from? Not us. Where you get your clothes from? Not us. That's right. Actually, his brother over here in the corner. We get your, we get your clothes from okay? Huh? Where you get where you get your Balenciaga from? And your Amiri's? Huh? Not yeah, not your people, right? So the Bible said that's a curse, King. Okay? And we're gonna be in the go of our enemies in hunger, in thirst, and in nakedness. Go ahead. And in want of all things. It says, and in want of all things. 
You want a driver's license, where you get it from? Who on the DMV? Not us. Right? Where do you want to get a CDL to go trucking? Where you get it from? Not us. <laughs> you already got the part. Where you get it from, brother? If you want to get a, mo a motorcycle license, where you get it from? You want to get an ID to travel pass, where you get it from? DMV. Right, but who owns the DMV? The, our, our oppressor. So this is everything that you want, you're going to get it from your oppressor, from your enemy. That's a curse. Right? Because when we was on our land ruling, we didn't have to go to anybody else to get anything. We had to be good. We get it from ourselves. Right, right, people are what you call self-sufficient. Right? But now he says you're gonna do what? <clears throat> and he shall put a yoke of iron. He shall iron. put a what? A yoke, yoke of, of iron. iron. He says, and he, your oppressor, is gonna put a yoke of iron. Where? Upon thy neck. Upon where? Upon oh, thy yeah. neck. So you see my brother, when you see these signs right here, that's what that's a curse. He says he shall put a oh um, give, give me for a sign on the one in Deuteronomy. He shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck. You see that? We got chains. If you look up the word yoke in, in Google, you'll see the word yoke and you'll see niggles with chains on their neck. Right or wrong? That's right. The Bible says our oppressor is going to put a yoke of iron upon our neck. Right? But now we have the chains on our, on, 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 on our brains mentally. You understand that, my right. brother? Right? Until, you, until he has destroyed you. You understand that? Because we have broken our Lord's commandments, King. Let me ask you, brokers over there, King. What's your nationalities? What's your ethnicity? Huh? African, what about you, brother? What about you, King, over there on, on, on the side of the phone? Yeah, what's your nationality, brother? African American. So when y'all look at each other, right? Are y'all all the same? Y'all all the same, right? Black, you know, so-called black man, right? But you got guys have two different answers for who you are. How could you be African American and he's African? The point is, is that our people don't know who they are. They just go by a claim. Jesse Jackson made the term African American in 1983. Did you know that? Right. 1983, Jesse Jackson gave you that name African and American. You have a baby on the airplane. I want to have a baby on the airplane. Well, so what is the baby? Half coach, half first class? What's the baby, King? Say that again? You don't know? You're gonna be who the daddy is, man. Right? If you have a baby on the on the, on, on the goddamn yacht, what's the baby? Is it half Atlantic and half what Coney Island, what, what Pacific Ocean? <laughs> is it half Hudson River? You're gonna be who the father is, right? Yes, right. So you have a lineage that descends from, from your ancestors, King, right? That's right? We cannot call that after a geographical landmass. We are more than just a, pl a, a place. We are people. You right. understand that? Right. You watch. You watch. Um, Black Panther. Did they kill Munga? Did it was kill Munga? No, it was um. The Avengers, man, but um Thor. When they went to, when they went, um, Asgard got destroyed, Asgard, okay. he says we we ask we are people before before we are place. And I'm saying no matter where we scattered to, we are still Israelites, King. That's you understand right. that? Right? Kyrie Urban said we the real Jews, right? Right. What happened to Kyrie and Kanye? They get chastised, right? Right. Nick Cannon said we the real Hebrew Israelites. What happened to him? They took that nigga off for Wild and Out. Mm. He had to go apologize to the white man. To come back on water now, put that got that kufi on his head. Right. Now all right. all of a sudden he think he conscious now. Right. right. But brothers are, are compromising who they are for the so-called white man, man. Right. Right? right. So understand my, my, my understand, brothers, that you are God's chosen people. You heard that? Right. Right. That you are you are you are you are children of God, man. Right. 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 You guys are kings on this earth, man. Right. 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 Understand who you are. Uh, understand your worth. Right. Right. Right, my brother. The question after two different landmasses: How could you be African and American? Let me get that verse. It it's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 45. Uh -huh. yeah. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee. All these what? All, all these, these curses, curses shall come upon thee. You heard that, brother? It says all these curses are going to come upon our people. What's good? We have one more time. Read it again. That's it's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 45. Uh -huh. yeah. Moreover, all these curses. All these curses. Curses is a bad thing, my brother, right? It says all of these curses are going to do what? Shall come upon thee. It's going to come upon you. And shall pursue thee, uh -huh. and overtake thee, uh -huh. till thou beest destroyed. Till thou be destroyed. Let me get Hosea 4 and 6. Because it says, my people are destroyed for what? A lack of knowledge. Right? Not knowing who you are, it will destroy you, brother. Because you're going to be out here. What the Bible says, groping at noonday. Right? Blind. Not knowing who you are, where you came from, who your ancestors are, where, where am I going, what's the end goal? Right? How do I get out of this captivity? You're not going to know because you don't even know who you are. It starts with you, right? You got that? He got Hosea.
This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 6. Yeah. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You read that? It says, my people are knowledge. destroyed for a lack of what? Knowledge. Right? And knowledge is a very key thing, right? Yes. You have knowledge of self. You have, you have worth. You know who you are. Then you can teach your children who they are. That's right. right. But because our people have lost who we are, the generations are cursed. Right? Because we're teaching our kids that they're African-Americans. Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge, right? Let me get that back to Deuteronomy for a sign of no wonder. And upon thy seed forever. Bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 45. Uh -huh. yeah. Moreover, all these curses all shall, these, uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee uh -huh. until thou beest destroyed, uh -huh. because thou not hearken not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Lack of knowledge. Uh -huh. To keep his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes uh -huh. when I commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. They shall be a what? They shall be upon uh -huh. thee for a sign. It says these curses are going to be upon you for a sign. What does a sign identify? Lack of knowledge. You know, sign identifies where certain things are, right? What certain things is, right? Not you see known that? What, what you, not right. known. You see that sign right here that says the shops at Yale, right? At Sherman's Alley. This lets me know this is where that's at. Right. So these curses are going to be upon you for a sign. So when you out here in the world, people can look and say, yo, that's the answer that's based on their curses. I know who they are based on the curses. Or they can look at you and say, I know who you are based on your blessings. That's right. Right? That's right. So when you read Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 15, 1 to 14 are all the curse, um, blessings, right? 15 now are all the curses. Right? That's an identifying marker to know who the children of Israel are in these last days. Right? But right now, we're not under these blessings, we're under these curses. So that's why you have to go through these curses, right? That's you, you got more on that? And for a wonder uh -huh. upon thy seed forever. 28. Verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness uh -huh. and astonishment of heart. Uh -huh. And thou shalt grope in noonday. You shall do what? And thou shalt grope in noonday. You shall grope at noonday. Meaning that you're not going to see where you're going to go. You're going to be out here filling around, right? Not knowing your way. Right? At noonday. The sun is out, but your eyes don't know where you're you, you coming or you're going. That's a curse, my brother. You understand that? So our job as young brothers out here to come back together, teach the elder men, and, and you can give us that wisdom that we can come back as, as God's chosen people, right? right? So we can put our oppressors in chains, right? That's and live righteously back in the kingdom of God, right? right? Because you because you are an elder, man. You're supposed to be out here dropping all that wisdom, right? Showing our young boys how, how, to, how, to, how to serve our God. Right, right. Like a knowledge. Like a knowledge, man, right? So so gain that knowledge, man. Gain that knowledge, God. Amen. As the blind groveth in darkness, mm -hmm. and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, uh -huh. and thou shalt be only oppressed. You shall be what? And thou shalt, shalt be, be only, only oppressed. oppressed. Our brother, it says we're going to be only oppressed. Are we the ones that's oppressed? Are we the oppressor or are we the oppressed? We're the oppressed. We're the oppressed. Right? right? We're the one at the bottom of the totem pole, man. We're the last high first fired, right? We the ones out here getting shot by the police 24-7, right? We the ones that's getting hanged on trees. We the ones that end up going missing. Locked up in jail. Locked up in... You see that? That's that Joel too. Watch this. I'm glad you said it locked up in jail. Watch this. Bring it out. Isaiah 42 and 22 in the NLT. But his own people... His what? His own people. His own people, go ahead. Have been robbed. Have been what? Robbed. Have been robbed. Have been robbed. robbed of what? Our identity. Our culture, knowledge. our heritage, our knowledge, That's right. right? Knowledge, we don't, we took, they took all that from us, my brother, right? Go ahead. And plundered. And what? And plundered. plundered. Enslaved. What? Enslaved. Says we also been enslaved. Go ahead. Imprisoned. What? Imprisoned. Did you say? Imprisoned. Imprisoned. Who for the, I got you, my brother. Locked who for the prison, prison houses? Locked right, but, from prison. but who for the prison houses? Who, who, who for up these quarters? Us. Right, the so-called black, Latino, Native American Indian man fill the prison houses, right? Yes, they have either, they got other people here and there in the prison but we fill it predominantly, the prison houses, right? Mass incarceration happens through us. Right. When the so-called white, white man make his laws, it's against us, right. right? Stop and frisk. Who was that for? I'm from Flatbush, Brooklyn, man. Stop and frisk was a horrible thing for me in my days, right? You don't got to do nothing. They can stop you, put you on the wall, start filling up all over your ass, Jesus, fill up all over like, damn, bro. Right, you have nothing but a damn nickel bag on you, but they want to take you to jail. That's right. right. But, then, but we had a thing in, in Brooklyn when they say that the cops would leave Staten Island and come to Flatbush, Brooklyn, and go harass us. And then they would hop back in their car, go back to their nice community, get their communities, right? And go eat dinner with their family. Right? But when they come to work, they're coming for me. Then I go for the for the for the for the little white boy down the block. 
when he got the most cocaine you could ever find. He right. got the most weed in his goddamn basement. Right. Right. Well, I got, got that nickel bag on, dime on me. They want to harass me. You understand that, my brother? So it says, we have been robbed, plundered, and enslaved. Go ahead. I'm listening. And trapped. And what? And trapped. This is and trapped. What's a trap? It's like a snare, right? Locked. Right. Yeah, locked up. Right. Don't T.I. say that he be in the trap house? Isn't that people, don't people say that they, they be up, in the trap? Brother. Yeah. Yeah. That's all part of these curses, my brother. Because we have fell short. You know what I'm saying? We have broken our God's commandments. That's right. So the key is, how do you get back to your original state? How do you get back to your natural habitat? Let me, let me break that curse. How you gonna do that? How you break that curse? Teach me. Let, That's what I'm trying to do. do. But not <laughs> give me give me give me Baruch. Let me break that give curse. Me Baruch, I'm gonna break that chain. That's what we wanna do. Hey, well we, we got that we got that spiritual chain. I'm gonna break that chain. That's what I wanna do. <laughs> let me get Jude one. All this I wanna break it. All this chain around Yale. Uh, I wanna break it. Yeah, no, don't worry, no. America, America gonna be destroyed, man. I wanna break it. Right, right, right. We're gonna definitely we gonna break the shit off of us and then we gonna and then we, and then we gonna put it on them. Right. I break that chain. I got you, brother. Well, you gotta keep God's commandments to break that chain. Right. Yeah. Break, breaking that chain. Listen, I got you, right? Breaking that chain don't consist of people you coming out here I in the middle of, in the middle. Of, I got you. I worked at Yale for 30 years, bro. Right. 30 years and at Yale. Right, you're supposed to be retired right now. I can't live it off your pension. Right? Three years, I retired. And they pay you every week for that? They pay every month? You get a little I'm, amount of money? I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting my little pension, but I'm waiting for the rest of So what of you us. spending that money on now? Drinks? You buying a little liquor? A little, uh, something uh, like that. Be careful, right? But Don't I, go I, too I, hard. I want to stop that. Beautiful. Do that, right? I but your, I got I, you. I, I work at Yale Hospital. Listen, Yale New Haven Hospital. 30 listen, years. Right. Put your they God first. They fired me because yeah. I was making $30 an hour. They fired you because you was making money? Because they, 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 they saw me I was making a lot of money. They, they break me. Uh -huh. I started when I was 17 years old. Man. 30 years of your hospital. 30 years of your hospital. You see, I, 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 I work my ass off. You see, 7 and 7. So your pressure making a lot of money. I work my ass off. 30 years of your hospital. Yeah, man. 30 years of your I'm Louis. Last name is Lopes. I work my ass. I, I, I build more haven. Mm -hmm. I did yell in my jail. Listen, our people built a. I did yell in my jail. I got you, brother. Listen to what I'm saying, right? You know what I'm saying? Our people. These, these motherfuckers. <laughs> curse me. Like what you're saying, the devil is a liar. That's all right. You know what I'm right. saying? You see that? You know why, brother? Because you are pressed, man. Listen, you got that? Yeah, yeah, bro. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, let's, chapter let's, 7 let's, and verse 7. Bring it out! Surely oppression make a wise man mad. You heard that? It says, surely oppression. You being oppressed make you upset. It's making you upset. It's making you mad. Why? Yes. Because you shouldn't be working for the white man since you were 17 till you you a goddamn slave, my brother. Yes. I was slave. Right? We all slaves. Slave. Guess what he's gonna do to you after you serve your time serving him for all these years? He's gonna do a fire your ass. Yes. Right? For no reason. They, they fire my ass. Right? And yes. then get somebody newer who are more shit. agile. They full of exactly. shit. Right. That's America for you. So now what do you do is that you understand who you are, understand the curses yes. of God. Yes. I lost my family. I lost everything over year of bullshit. Right. So year of control bullshit. Right. They're full of crap. So what are you gonna do now? I, I'm 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 trying to make it happen. Yeah, I'm, but you I'm, have I'm to. Trying to work right. You have to back. listen. You have to come back to your God. Right. Yeah. Come back. Listen. Well, I got you right. Come back to your God. Serve and trust Him. Trust in Jesus Christ and serve your God. Keep the commandments and believe on Him. Right, and, and come gather with brothers of like mind. We have elders in this camp as well. That's right. They can talk to you and understand you um, wherever you're coming from. Right. Right, but you doing it alone, it's not going to cut it. You have to gather together. Come with your peoples, man. So we can That's figure right. out a way together, yeah. right? It's more strength than numbers. You agree with that? I agree with that. Listen. Right. So, so you know, we can't kick a dead horse and say, okay, yeah, 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 I get it. But we have to understand why the curses of this Bible. Understand why is God handing me this lot? And the lot that he gave to you, you know, is a shitty lot. We all got a shitty lot. Because what? We don't keep the commandments of God. So the brothers up here, we keep the commandments, serve our God to come out of this God-forsaken place. That's so right. when you get back to your kingdom, you don't have to work for Yale University anymore. Right? You can have people working for you now. Right. Right, 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 right. right. Don't you want your own business? I want my own business. Right, but you got to come to your God, serve him, work hard to get to the kingdom of heaven, right? So you can have all the people, all the other nations, you can have working for you. Listen, right, the right. same, the same Yale doctors and lawyers and and, and, and only people in that school, the, you know, they can work for you now. That's right. The same ones that fired you and treated you horribly wrong, 
God gonna get um, vengeance for that. Let me get First Thessalonians, man. All right, bring this out. Con, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter four and verse ten. Verse nine. Two are better than one. It says what? Two, two are, are better, better than, than one. one. It says two are better than one. Better than right. So if you don't see people to stay by yourself, you're you're worse off. You gotta come together because we have people of like mind that you can come and get this knowledge. And like you said, the knowledge, come and get that so you can make so you can have a, a prosperous life. You understand that? So you will not be home down in liquor after liquor trying to cope with your, with your pain and your stress. Right? You gotta put put it all on the Lord. Put it all on his shoulders, man. Right? And he's gonna take care of you, brother. Right, go ahead. Because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe unto him that is alone when he falleth, for he have not another to help him up. See that? If you fall you, and you by yourself, you don't have nobody to help you up. But if you have brothers around you, you fall, we can build you up. That's right. Right? Listen, and that's why you got to be here, man. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord and Savior who you said you believe in, man, he came and died for you, my brother. He came for the same reasons to give you life abundantly, to give you more life. But you're going to have to want that fountain of the living waters, man. You understand that? Yeah, you got it? It's the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 1 and verse 6. Bring it out! Con. Uh, no, nah, there's no... <clears throat> I think second Thessalonians. Yeah, I think it's second, second Thessalonians. All right, let me get Jude 1 and 6. This is Jude 1 and 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate, uh -huh. but left their own habitation. See that? It says the angels, brother. We are the angels that have left our first estate. Left our habitation. What's our first estate? Right? Being being rulers of this earth, man. Right? Living living for a prosperous life. Right? We are the angels that left our habitation. That left our first estate. Right. So that's the point about... Dropping what you're doing, coming back to your gospel, we can get back to that first state, get back to that kingdom right. of heaven, get back to that way where we're supposed to be living. God did not put you here to be a, to, to, to be a goddamn slave. That's right. Right, God? He had reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Right, so he got to cloud over our people, man. You understand that? So how to break that chain, break that curse, you got to come and serve your God. That's the only way. Right. It's the only way, my brother. I'll give me this last one. God, this is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1 and verse 6. Yeah. Seeing it is a righteous thing uh -huh. with God uh -huh. to recompense tribulation. He he's going to recompense, pay back tribulation, go ahead. To them that trouble you. So the people that yeah, university that trouble you, that got you out here emotional, upset, right? He says he's going he gonna to render tribulation to those same people. That's it's a righteous bad. thing, and he's going to get recompense onto those people. Say that one more time. Yeah, read it again for the art. Verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing, a righteous thing right? with, God with God to reckon his tribulation uh -huh. to them that trouble you. So anybody that touch his chosen people, he's gonna pay them back. You understand that? Because right. you we are we are the we, we are our Lord's servant, man. Anybody afflict us, it afflicts him. Right? Let me get Zechariah my bad. So, uh, Zechariah 2 and 8 in the CEV. I, I did that already. You did what already? Like I say, work work a year. I, I did it uh -huh. already. So how am I gonna get, get how am I get a repay back? You know For what all the years that you have lost? All the years exactly. You're gonna get it in the kingdom, my brother. That's right. Now you can't bring back the past, yeah. man. You left it as what it is, you serve your university, it is what it is. You wanna get it back in the kingdom of heaven, right? right. Serve That's your right. God, like I said multiple times, and he's gonna pay vengeance is his, right? right. Vengeance is the laws it says, right? So he's gonna he gonna see what they did to my brother. Um, what's your name? Luis. Luis. They're gonna see what they did to his, 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 his son Luis, and then he's gonna pay them back. That's right. Right? And you'll be there to see it go down, right? Thank you. Right? So let me get that. CV, Zechariah 2 and 8. That's the one I hear. Uh, Zechariah 2 and That's 8. The one I hear. Then the glorious Lord, all powerful, ordered me to say to the nations right. that had raided and robbed Zion. They rob who? Zion. Right. right. Zion is as precious to the Lord. It says Louis, right? You an Israelite. says you are precious to God, God. As are his eyes. Uh -huh. Whatever you do to Zion. Right. Whatever you do to the Israelites, right? Whatever you do to his people, right? Louis included, God. You do to him. You do to the Lord. So them affecting you, Louis, they're doing it to the most high. Right? They're affecting Jesus Christ. So when he comes back angry, understand he's coming to, to write vengeance for what they have done to you. That's right? Because right. they have touched his chosen people. Right, Luis? Yes. 
So understand, come serve your God, do the right thing, right? You tried Yale, you said, try serving God now. Right. Right? And then he's going to deliver you, cake. He's going to give you vengeance that you need, man. Trust me. Right? All right, Louise, you got the paper, right? You good? All right, my brother. And we're going to give all praises to the most high once again, man. And we say shalom. Come here, shalom. Oh, yes, Warm niggas, now nah, we try and heat it up. So let's cook it up. Ask around the city, Christians know what's up. Like these fake ass Muslims prostrating, they be ducking us. Yak 1611, my be read that KJV. Talking about you, Muslim. You don't know what Allah mean. I remember sinning. Almost turned me to a beast. Oh, I get why Esau, man. Man, because we beat the streets. 